With applications coming out and the 30th anniversary celebration drawing ever closer, we've got a lot of news regarding Power Rangers, both from the comics and the TV series. Let's start with the comics as the solicitation is out for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers No. 109, which will go on sale in June. This tells us that the Rangers will face an ally that has turned against them. In past videos we have told you that this character who will betray the team is Matt, the new Green Ranger. Now, and thanks to the preview of number 107, we can confirm that indeed, Mistress Vile has brainwashed him. Something curious about this comic was that Boom Studios shared the synopsis, but censored the main cover to avoid revealing the characters that appear here. A couple of days later, Torin Clark, the artist who made this cover, shared the final art confirming that these characters are Mistress Vile and the Zed Ranger. Speaking of the latter, the preview for issue number 107 reveals how Zofram gained the power of the Morphin Grid. During the Eltarian War, the evil Emperor hid a special morpher in the command center. This was created for the sole purpose of draining Zordon's energy and once it was fully charged, he reclaimed it to acquire this new form, with the purpose of destroying the Rangers. As part of the celebration for the 30th anniversary of the Power Rangers, Boom Studios created a Kickstarter campaign where they are offering three new hardcover editions of the Rangers comics. These editions are Power Rangers Archives Book 1 and Book 2 together with Power Rangers Lost Chronicles. These books can be purchased separately or together. Power Rangers Archives Book 1 collects the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers stories from the first decade, originally published by Hamilton Comics and Marvel Comics. The second volume includes stories from Power Rangers CEO, Turbo, Super Samurai, and Megaforce along with more classic comics originally published by Image Comics, Valiant Comics, and Papercuts. Power Rangers Lost Chronicles collects all of the standalone graphic novels published by Boom Studios, along with Power Rangers artist tribute. In this book we can find stories of teams like Lost Galaxy, Rangers in Space, Psycho Rangers, Time Force, The Rangers from the 2017 movie, Ninja Steel, RPM and SPD. In addition to these three editions, the Kickstarter offers us two commemorative editions of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers No. 0 and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 30th Anniversary Special No. 1, a comic about which we still don't have much information. The special edition of No. 0 has a folding cover, which shows us the six main covers made by Goni Montez. For its part, the 30th Anniversary Edition has a gatefold cover by Dan Mora that shows us all the Power Rangers that have existed until the Beast Morphers generation. On top of all that, jackets from Angel Grove, the Mighty Rangers School, and boxes to store comics are also on sale. As of the date this video was uploaded, the campaign has raised $555,655, which is quite an impressive number. Due to the huge success of the Kickstarter, Boom decided to thank the fans with a special announcement that Amy Jo Jones, who played Kimberly Hart, is writing a new Power Rangers comic. Joining her is screenwriter Matt Hodson, who will help her flesh out the story. Of the few details revealed about this comic, it is mentioned that this story will not be part of the continuity of the main comics or the television series, as it will be a team of Rangers created from the perspective of the actress. Boom did not reveal any further information, but did confirm that we would have more details later this year. Turning to once and always, Netflix shared the official calendar that confirms what exact time the special will be released in different countries. On top of that, new behind-the-scenes footage of the special has been revealed. One of them shows us the device that Robo Rita will use to travel in time, but also lets us see the rangers who have been captured by the witch. As you know, the trailer had shown us that Jason, Kimberly, and Tommy would be captured, but now, we see that Levi, the Beast Morpher Blue Ranger, Ashley, the Yellow Space Ranger, Merrick, the Lunar Wolf Ranger, and the Panthom Ranger were also captured. In another image they show us the machine again and we can see that Rita has captured more Rangers. Here we can see that it has three Galaxy Rangers, the Dino Thunder White Ranger, the Black Space Ranger and two other characters that I cannot identify. As a curiosity, these figures that they used as props correspond to the Lightning Collection made by Hasbro, this being a promotion for fans to acquire these figures. 
To finish, Netflix shared a small preview of the special where it is revealed to us how Rocky and Cat recovered their powers. The video explains that Billy and Alpha 9 have been working on a secondary connection to the Morphin Grid. Their work allowed them to create two provisional power coins of the Tyrannosaurus and the Pterodactyl. Although these allow them to use the Dino powers, the truth is that having two equal connections for the same power could be extremely dangerous for its user. Let's hope that the special offers us a more extensive explanation of this fact. For now, that has been all for this video. Let us know which news excites you the most and if you are already impatient to see Power Rangers once and always. We are the Comics Awakens. See you in the next video.